the uh, perpetrator of this foul crime. It was indeed Mrs. Peacock. <laughs> He deserved to die. Yesterday, I was on top of the world. I thought a wonderful man was in love with me. We were to be married. I was going to become a countess. <laughs> then, between one moment and the next, my life was shattered. I heard Blanche talking to someone in the dining room. The voice sounded familiar, but... You shall take an old rush like you to seriously, do you? Mrs. White. I know your sort. I can read you like a book. You and your smarmy manners and slimy incinerations. Please, Mrs. White. F. Mrs. Peacock. Here's you, I repeat. He went into his act. It was what I could do to keep control of myself. But I had to act as though I hadn't seen through him. So I had to be cruel to Blanche. Oh, Mrs. Peacock. Mrs. White, please in... leave us. We will discuss your future but... when you've had a chance to sober up. Yes, but he was in the... Not another word. But you... It was the only way I could keep up the pretense. Later. I sneaked back into the dining room and poured poison into the brandy. The only person apart from him likely to drink it was me, and I didn't intend to. It was so easy to send him to his death. You go ahead, Henri. I think there's still some of your favorite Armagnac in the decanter. He was so cheap. Luxuries like the vintage Armagnac were irresistible. I should have known from the way he was greedy with expensive things. I should have known. How could I have fallen for him when Mike was around? Can you help? Please, please, come see. So.